You know us, we just love to educate. And today's video is all about that, teaching you things you didn't know. One thing we'll be exploring is how underwater structures are made, but there's so much more coming. So strap in and brace to have your IQ expanded. This is how underwater structures are made and so much more. These are things you didn't know 15 minutes ago. Number 15. This is how underwater structures are built. Have you ever wondered how bridges and other structures are built underwater? Do builders just put on their swimming trunks and dive under with a hammer? How does it all work? One word, coffer dams. Coffer dams are large piles that are driven into the waterbed to create a dry workspace, so there's definitely no need for swimming trunks or flippers. Engineers carefully design these structures to ensure the workplace is kept dry and safe from the risk of collapse. Even though they're most commonly used for bridge support piers, they're practically suitable for many forms of aqueous engineering. So how do they do it? Well, it's not voodoo magic, if that's what you're thinking. Workers drive piles into the earth at whatever the specified depth is. As water is on one side of the wall, it's pumped out of the other side to create what is called a hydraulically unstable system. This can cause water to come up from through the ground. Without giving you a geotechnical engineering lesson, there's a specific depth that they can drive the wall into the ground to stop the water from coming up the other side. Then, pumps are used to remove water and create a dry place for workers to do their thing. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. AI to replace 40% of jobs in 15 years. What if I were to tell you that in just 15 years, artificial technology would replace almost half of all jobs? You'd probably scoff at the idea, but could it be true? We're seeing it already at supermarket checkouts with self-service and car washes with large automatic machines. Venture capitalist Kai-Fu Lee, who developed AI for Google and Microsoft, told CBS's 60 Minutes that we can expect AI to replace 40% of the world's workers in 15 years. He said, and I quote, I believe AI is going to change the world more than anything in the history of mankind more than electricity. You might think, sure, we've seen this in the past and we've adapted just fine. After all, we once had people we'd pay to wake us up in the morning before alarm clocks came along. Good morning, Rowan. <laughs> and someone used to light the street lanterns before electricity put a stop to that. But Kai-Fu said it would be different this time around. He thinks that new AI-only industries will be built from the ground up since they will be cheaper than human employees. Uh, well, it might be time to become an essential employee sooner rather than later. Number 13. Your skin is actually pretty interesting. We probably don't think about our skin all that much. We get annoyed with it when it breaks out in pimples or when a few too many pieces of fried chicken causes it to stretch, but how much do you really know about your skin? In a few minutes, you'll know a lot more than you did. Did you know that your skin, if spread out, would cover an area of around two square meters? Don't try that at home, kids. It also accounts for about 15% of your body weight and has approximately 11 miles of blood vessels. The thickest amount of skin you have is on your feet, while the thinnest is on your eyelids. You'll also shed around 30,000 to 40,000 cells every minute, which makes complete sense when you learn that you regenerate your skin every 28 days. Fortunately, we don't shed human-sized skin on the ground like snakes. How terrifying would that be? If you like to keep your home clean and tidy, then this fact is probably gonna mortify you. That dust you find on your shelves at home? Yeah, over half of that is skin. Sweet dreams. Number 12. Do trees talk to each other? Have you ever been walking through a forest or a woodlands area only to wonder whether the trees within it talk to each other? Do they communicate in some way? Well, they don't text each other, if that's what you're thinking. Still, ecologists do believe they have their own unique way of communicating their needs to one another. As if trees couldn't get any cooler. Ecologist Suzanne Simard found that trees tell each other what their needs are and the nutrients they require through latticed fungi networks in the soil. In essence, they talk to each other. When she discovered this, 
as she wanted to find out more. That led to her realizing that fungi will enable trees to send warning signals about environmental changes and how they transfer their nutrients to the plants around them before they die. Kind of like a will or testament, but in the tree world. Suzanne says that forests are cooperative systems. They transfer resources to each other and interact to make sure they can all survive and thrive. Now, she's working on finding out how these communication networks can be interrupted by threats like logging, climate change, and pine beetle infestations. Number 11. Why our skin gets wrinkly in the water. Pay attention to your fingers and toes the next time you get out of the bath or take a long shower. Notice how they're all wrinkly and feel kind of weird? Yeah, well, scientists have been trying to work out why on earth that happens for a long time, and they've pretty much cracked it. Some people believe that it's a biochemical reaction where the water takes some of the compounds out of your skin and leaves it looking all pruney. But scientists actually aren't sure if that's the case. After all, surgeons noticed that when finger nerves were damaged or removed, fingers would no longer wrinkle, which meant it was more than likely a nervous system response. So neurobiologist Mark Changizi came up with another theory, and he compared our fingers and toes to motorsport. When you're driving a car in dry conditions, you use smooth tires that grip beautifully on the track. But when it's raining, you swap out those tires for grippier ones with heavier tread. Our fingers might be doing the same things. To ensure we can maintain a tighter grip on things with wet hands, our fingers and toes create tiny channels for water to go down so we can continue to hold on to things. Number 10. Earth is slowing down. We've all experienced those days that seem to drag on far longer than others. Could almost swear that there was more time in that particular day than others before it. You might be exaggerating a little, but you actually may not be wrong. Our Earth rotates once in 24 hours with respect to the Sun, but with other distant stars, it turns every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. With time, the Earth is actually rotating slower and slower. This is because of the tidal effects that the moon has on the rotation of the Earth. According to atomic clocks, our days are around 1.7 milliseconds longer than those of about 100 years ago. Historical astronomical records also show that the length of a single day increases by about 2.3 milliseconds each century since around the 8th century BCE. However, in 2020, scientists noticed that the Earth was spinning faster after having been slowing down. Because of that unique change of events, engineers are starting to wonder if there's such a thing as a negative leap second. Or it could just be because, you know, 2020 was an absolute dumpster fire and anything was possible. Number 9. The Mimic Octopus is a Master Impersonator. Sometimes, you might stumble across an animal that can impersonate another animal to avoid being eaten. The mimic octopus is a little different. It can take on traits of several creatures and can switch from one to another with rapid speed. This amazing critter was first discovered off the coast of Sulawesi, Indonesia in 1998, and it has been surprising researchers ever since. They believe that it takes both the behaviors and the appearance of creatures that would either taste bad to predators or be venomous to them. If one doesn't work, it will quickly take on the form of another. Some of the many changes in its bag of tricks include a sea snake, crab, shrimp, lionfish, and jellyfish. To mimic a sea snake, it'll tuck itself into a hole and stick out two of its arms with black bands that make them look like sea snakes. It will then move them around in the water to look like snakes. The need for such protection may come from how this octopus eats. It forages in broad daylight in open sand flats, which is where it's likely quite exposed and vulnerable to threats. Number 8. One of the most terrifying places on Earth. Have you ever wondered where the most terrifying place on Earth is? Well, we think we may have discovered it. Lake Natron in Africa. A lake? How absurd. But this isn't just any ordinary lake. It's a quiet, hidden lake located in Tanzania that has a few tricks up its sleeve for any animal thinking it can just take a dip without asking. If the animal happens to die in the lake, it will quickly turn into what looks like a stone and will eventually wash up on the shore seemingly rock solid. This is because the water has incredibly high levels of salt and soda.
Its alkaline levels are between pH 9 and 10.5, with temperatures of around 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. One photographer who visited said it was so high in salt and soda that it could strip the ink off Kodak film boxes within seconds. But don't take our word for it, there are many pictures all over the internet of what looks like stone animals. Instead, dozens of birds and bats have been foolish enough to end up in the water and subsequently ended up in statue form. Number 7. Arctic Reindeer Can Change Their Eye Color Eyes are amazing. Ours can adapt to changing light conditions by merely dilating the pupils to let more light in when it gets dark. When it's light again, the irises widen and our pupils shrink. This is much the same situation for many animals, but there's one that operates a little differently. The Arctic Reindeer. The Arctic Reindeer is the only mammal that has its eyes change color as the seasons change. For us to do that, we need to wear contact lenses. When it's sunny, their eyes are beautifully golden, although when the winter sets in, they turn a dark blue and become less reflective. Scientists say that the part of the eye that changes color is called the tapetum lucidum. It's a layer of tissue behind the retina and is reflective. It allows light to be reflected to the retina to increase how much light is available to photoreceptors. During winter, a reindeer's pupils have to stay dilated for months, which causes pressure in the iris muscles and a change in the eye structure. The pressure rearranges collagen fibers, with the spacing of those fibers affecting the type of light they reflect. Number 6. Black Holes Belch Stars the next time your parent or grandparent tells you off for burping, simply remind them that if black holes are allowed to belch, then so can you. Scientists browsed through around 10 years of data collected from telescopes around the world and captured some astonishing details about black holes. They noticed that a massive black hole could eat a star, then burp out material at the speed of light. Literally. This unique information could allow researchers to understand how black holes grow and impact their surroundings. The first time we came to learn about belching black holes was back in 2005 when University of Turku astronomer Sepu Matilla and his team saw a point-like source of infrared light within merging galaxies around 150 million light years from Earth. Later that year, another team reanalyzed the data and confirmed a bright source of radio waves from from that same location. They thought it was a supernova, but follow-up observations showed it was too bright to be a supernova. Instead, it was discovered that it was a tidal disruption event caused by a supermassive black hole tearing apart a star. Number 5. High Heel Shoes Were For Men Women around the world purchase high heel shoes to feel good, look good, and even stand a little taller. They aren't practical, comfortable, or always easy to walk in, but many women master wearing them with enough practice. But it might surprise you to learn that high-heeled shoes were never actually designed for women. They were for men. Back in the 16th century, heels were seen as masculine. Persian culture made them even more popular among men, as Persian horsemen used them to perfect their stance in stirrups. By the 17th century, any height-challenged man would wear heels to become taller, such as French King Louis XIV, who was a little on the short side. But women were also starting to adopt more masculine styles. They cut their hair, smoked pipes, and started wearing heels to look more masculine. At the tail end of the 17th century, heels were unisex. Women's shoes were being created with slender heels, and men's were more robust and shorter. Once the 18th century rolled around, it was seen as foolish for men to wear heels, and they stopped wearing them altogether. Number 4. Your corneas have no blood vessels. Our bodies are made up of millions of blood vessels. You'd struggle to find a part of the body that doesn't have them. 
but there is one part that doesn't, and it's your corneas. Scientists have always wondered why they are free of blood vessels, which helps us to see clearly, and now we know why. There's a large amount of protein called VEGFR3 on the top epithelial layer of the corneas. This protein halts blood vessel growth and acts as a sink to neutralize any growth factors that are sent to stimulate their growth. It might not sound like a huge deal to discover this protein, but it is. Scientists believe that knowing this information could allow them to cure diseases and illnesses resulting from uncontrollable and abnormal blood vessel growth, such as cancer. This is because they can use it therapeutically in other tissues. We say that you'd struggle to find a part of the body without blood vessels, but there is another part that's also free of blood vessels, and that's cartilage. Everywhere else, they are needed to heal injuries and infections. Number 3. Giant alcohol clouds float in space. If you've explored every pub, club, and alcohol-serving establishment near you and are looking for somewhere new, we've got just the place. Aquila. Or should we say tequila? In 1995, researchers discovered a massive cloud of alcohol in a constellation far away from Earth, near the constellation called Aquila. This booze cloud is about 1,000 times larger than our solar system's diameter. It has enough ethyl alcohol to fill 400 trillion trillion pints of beer. To put that into perspective, every single person on Earth would have to drink 300,000 pints each day for around 1 billion years to use it all up. If you're down to your last drop, this constellation could be worth a visit. But before you pack your best drinking glasses, it's worth knowing that you've got a bit of a long-haul flight ahead of you. The booze cloud is 58 quadrillion miles away. It also contains some pretty harmful compounds like hydrogen cyanide, ammonia, and carbon monoxide. You're probably better off just sticking with boring old Earth beer. Still, how cool would it be to drink a pint made in space? That would be out of this world. Number 2. What are those white spots on your nails? Alright, right now, glance down at your hands. Do you see any white spots on your nails? Are you curious about what they are? Well, get comfortable. We're about to fill you in on the latest goss. White spots or lines on your nails are called leuconychia. There are two types of leuconychia. True leuconychia, where the spots are on your nails, and apparent leuconychia, where the spots look like they're on your nails, but are actually on the nail bed underneath. Most people with white spots on their nails have true leuconychia, which is caused by trauma. When you hit your nail on something, the skin growth gets interrupted. Months later, a white spot can occur as your nail grows. In contrast, Apparent leuconychia can be a sign of a health condition. You can find out which one you have by pressing your nail. If the white stays there as you press on your nail, you've got true leuconychia. If it goes away, you may have the apparent version. This is a sign of poisoning caused by heavy metals or arsenic. Some specific nail marks may also signal cancer. If your nail spot disappears, it may be time to make an appointment with your GP. Number 1 iPhone's LiDAR feature. We're not going to start an Android versus iOS or Samsung versus Apple battle, but we can't help but appreciate a new feature that iPhone 12 users have been able to take advantage of the fancy LiDAR scanner. You would have noticed that the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max have three cameras, but they also have a LiDAR sensor that improves the portrait mode of photos. It even allows you to take beautiful pictures with blurred backgrounds, even in night mode. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It bounces lasers off objects and measures their distance based on the length of time it takes for the light to return to the sensor. As revolutionary as this technology is in the iPhone, it's actually not new. Self-driving cars often have it, and so does the 2020 iPad Pro. This feature also has another card to play. You've long been able to use measuring apps, but they weren't always that accurate. Here's a little fun fact for you. With the addition of LiDAR, the iPhone's measurement tool is now more accurate than ever before. Alright, so I may not have been able to give you the answer to life, it's 42 by the way, but still, I'm pleased to have provided you with some intriguing information that you've probably never thought about in the first place. Did you know anything that we've just shared? Feel free to brag in the comments, I won't judge. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!